Hey there, I the Hello Fire Familia. Welcome to another reaction. This time I'm going to be reacting to The Dragon Prince, Season 4, Episode 9, uh, Escape from Umber Tor. I hope I pronounced that correctly. But anyway, let's get right into it. Okay, so we're picking, are you guys, are we picking up where Claudia was here or is it already gone? Okay, no. Oh, okay. I don't know how long the spell's gonna last, so let's find this map quickly. No, take your time. And quietly. No waking the dragon. <laughs> He's just like, oh. Hey, Mr. Dragon, oh. wake up. Yeah, Saren, be loud. Saren. Did I really just say Saren? <laughs> Sorry. Yes, this is the time to be loud and obnoxious. Eat the bad humans who are trying to... Oh. Sorry. Saren loves salad. It's good for you. It's good for you. I thought he was going to say... I thought he was going to say, like, something along the uh, long lines of, like, not it's good for you, but, like, she's not wrong. <laughs> Are you going to feel bad? Not anymore. Yeah, I wonder why, Claudia. Oh, hey. Oh, Zim is still... <laughs> Are you doing... Shh, shh, quiet now. As if you're... <laughs> It looks all like it, it like looks sad for a moment. Strange little life depends on it. Strange little life. Interesting. So it didn't work on Sim. To the man. <laughs> she did her nose thing. <laughs> like, but I have a finding spell. Lux. Will it work? Water. It's in the dragon's mouth. It's in his mouth. Is it a tooth? Under his tongue? Why do I feel like it's like a tooth or something? What is that? <laughs> what if you're not powerful enough? Then he like dies. I said, <laughs> I know I'm kidding. I know Janai would not Janai kill him. I will refuse to fight. Mm -hmm. Then I will invoke my royal rights, and the six horns will arrest her. And what if the other? Even though she's not going to do what he expects her to do. <laughs> they feel the fractures in our empire. They know my sister is breaking us apart. Mm -hmm. As mm. soon as they see I am giving them sure. a path to restore our strength, they <clears throat> will take it. Will they? Or at least will all of them? You got a head bump, Rayla. <laughs> a squeak. Oh, ew. <laughs> Soren? Uh, I'm, I'm so happy you're alive. I don't feel bad anymore. <laughs> and then my stinky toes. Did... You know, it'd be kind of funny is if he keeps talking and she just puts the binds right back in his mouth. <laughs> the trick. You might want to, yeah. Turn around before they get the map and leave. But there's a problem. Yeah, good luck lifting his mouth. It probably weighs a few hundred pounds, if not more. The map is carved on the dragon's tooth. I was right. It is too. <laughs> How are we supposed to get this map out now? Time to perform dentistry on a dragon. Tooth extraction. You can live out your life in peace with your bride. Yeah, but he doesn't know they had to talk. <laughs> I think what's kind of funny too. Is that he's supposedly like following the old regime way, but at the same time, his grandmother's one who changed, like, got rid of this, and then he's like going against it. So it's like, are you picking and choosing what you want to follow? And no mm. king or queen can simply abolish it. Oh, so you're real old school. You're not even grandmother. You're like great, 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 great grandmother. Will he be able to fight her though? Oh my god, goofy goo. I'm a goofy goober, yeah. <laughs> is that. Are you gonna. Is it gonna stick to the goo? So I can wiggle my stinky nubbins under the dragon's nostrils. Uh. I've got <laughs> <laughs> Their faces are like, uh, maybe not. That'll just piss them off. Uh, that will be equally effective, but slightly less cruel. Less cruel. <laughs> Slightly less cruel than stinky feet. You're gonna stab him? Okay, Rayla. <laughs> All right. Was he really that stinky? Sorry. Oh, 
Ooh, love on the battlefield screen. Oh, you two are awake. No, Callum's gotta wake up. What? Oh, there we go. Okay, now you're all awake. Ezrin. Oh, Ezrin's the last to wake up. Ezrin, are you a deep sleeper? What? Is he really that mad over Ezrin. a little prick in the toe? You're, you're like, attack- not attacking, but you're like, need to focus on the ones who are trying to take the map. Oh my god. Goofy and glorious, just like you. GG. Do you want it that badly, Baron? He looks like he's in a berserk mode. Like, you gotta go calm down, big boy. Okay, good. Don't you feel a little better? Are we really doing a breathing exercise? Oh. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, I don't think the breathing exercise is going to work on him. <gasps> Look what you've done! No. I failed another king! king it's just got a case of the toasty toesies. My toasty king. toesies? I have to go after him. Do you? Oh, then again, that's what you did before. Okay, so at least... Kinda have, not coming full circle, but at least this time she's saying I have to go after him and instead of him getting upset and saying, oh, you're going to do it all over again. He's understanding and saying, I know you do. So, okay, we're getting, we're getting growth here. Progress. <laughs> Where is your honor? Really? <laughs> is fire going to really work against them when they're both Sunfire Elf episode, I swear? You gotta go fire him. <coughs> there you go. Yeah, I wonder, can brother do that? So much for your plan. That's my wife. <laughs> my smoking hot wife. Really, are you gonna be able to take on all of them though? You're not just going after Viren. Then you can turn and give me a hand so I can climb. Is Rayla gonna get Terry? No. <laughs> Stella too. Are you, you better not be in the episode here. Okay, good. I was about to say, don't you dare. <laughs> oh, his hands all red. Yes. I call upon the six horns. It's your duty to arrest him. They're not gonna do it. General Miana. Oh, I get the feeling wifey's not gonna do it either. And I will build a brighter future for our people than you can possibly imagine. <clears throat> He's important to you. He is. Oh, thanks, sweetie. You know what? That's the time. I have someone who's important to you too. Oh. Actually. Oh. Three someones. Oh. Oh. It's gonna be. I'm telling you. I swear to God, if it's both of her parents, and then it's got uh um oh my God Runan in it. Mm, I tell mm. and these other two they look so familiar and then I realized nah your parents are <laughs> ah, not only did I know get Runan but I also got the parents <laughs> yes okay wow okay so you have all three of them is if I threw the coins in the lava Claudia spirits or would they be trapped in some kind of eternal limbo burning agony you mean hell? That's a pretty big leverage. I'm not making a deal with you. Well, well, that's a little rough. That's a little rough. You mean a little sharp? Um. Ah. Uh, I thought she was gonna land a lot. I was gonna say, come on now. Oh, nice, Stella. How did you do that? She could do portals. She's like, there's things you don't know about me. Oh. Wow. Poor Rayla, man. You got a big mound of rocks to get over. That's a little scary to go through. You really need to chill, Rax. I've seen you do a lot of awful things. Dark magic things. But I always believed in you because you had a reason. 
What you just did, the way you tricked that moon shadow elf, it was just cruel. Yeah, yeah, Terry, pull out her heartstrings. Yes, because <laughs> that was horrible using her parents and then threatening to throw them in the lava. You go back and give her the coins right now, we'll call it. Thank you. Have a heart. <laughs> That's some big leverage, though, that they had on her. There weren't. There wasn't anyone else in any of their coins, right? Not that she just left the bag of coins there. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, they sh should take the co rest of the coins with her if they're empty, because then, um, you know, conceal like Claudio Vier and whoever in there. Really, you too. I haven't had a snack in over a decade. What would they even eat? Rocks? Crystals? Big. Though, that's an understatement. <laughs> Never give up. Never what? <laughs> Good speech, but will it work? Uh, I don't think your heart's gonna. Your heart's gonna probably give out before you can push this door. Come on, Rex. You need it. Just pop another chocolate tart in his mouth. Bait. I swear to God, for a comedic effect, if he goes and touches this and it opens. They're, I know they're going for that. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Wait, like the young elf comes running out. Just <laughs> oh, my, um. <clears throat> oh, jeez. Where the guards go? Only strength that matters is doomed. Okay, sorry. Rayla is queen. Zubaya. Oh, hi, Zubaya. <laughs> Stand off between two arch dragons. She's just like, are you done? You big windbag. I think you're at a standoff, aren't you? Stand still? What does it call it? You mean to tell me her, her freaking sword was still in his foot this whole time? Don't tell me that's what was upsetting him. Like, part of the reason why he was upset. Zim, you defied me, and look what happened. Then you wouldn't have showed up to save the day. So we'd all be super dead. So there's that. Uh, I mean, I guess, because Zim didn't cause him to get angry. So it's not like him being there or not being there would have made a difference. Like, they were going to get put to sleep anyway. So, yeah, actually, it turned out well. Not again! So wait, where's Rayla then? Are you gonna finally feel emotions? Let them up, let them up. Oh. What the fudge? Girl! How'd you end up there? How'd you end up outside on the ro- Okay, I'm not gonna question it. I'm so glad you came back. He's hugging her. She's like, go ahead. Knocks them all over. <laughs> and he will save you. Uh oh. Um. That doesn't look too good. <laughs> Maybe, um. Mm, I don't know about this. Oh, now you have freaking, of course, the dark, dark Sith, Viren, and <laughs> Anakin or Kalanakin. <laughs> Oh, so this is after he, he his eyes go all dark and black? 
vegetables soren approved unlike that other prince that was anti-vegetables okay so this must be kind of showing i'm guessing what happens after he goes all dark right and everything only three coins and i knew it <laughs> in memory of alan santoso who is that okay so the last drawing is the map Interesting, so they engraved it on his tooth. I mean, that's very smart. I'm not gonna lie. But, I'll be honest. How else, how are they supposed to, like, how was Rex gonna give him, give, give them the map before they got interrupted? Like, was he gonna just pluck his tooth out and be like, here, carry this? Like, this, that's a big tooth like this. It seems kind of, um, you know, I don't know, inconveniencing that, that big of a map. But, alright, let me go ahead and get into my thoughts then. Okay, so that was a good episode, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was say good episode because you, you, you get to see that Claudia. Like, I was hope I was really hoping Terry was gonna be the one to kind of hopefully, like, was gonna be the one to help Claudia see that she's going too far with certain things, especially with the relationship, like them being, you know, loving each other. Um, so I'm glad, I'm glad Terry isn't just going with her stuff and going, you know what, I'm just gonna be quiet. That no, when she is going too far, it's like, that was cruel. And so that makes her give the coins back. So hopefully that continues on. Not that she becomes too corrupted and yeah, doesn't even listen to Terry anymore. But I I'm glad to see that. And then, so yay, Rayla's now got her parents and Renan back. But I don't know if they're gonna be able to release them because I think it's dark magic so maybe Calum would have to but at the same time then Calum's gonna have to use dark magic and I don't know, that's a good good thing um unless they get like Viren or Claudia to release them later on but I feel like it's gonna be Calum that's gonna have to do it um but then yeah so Rex well they left left off on the wrong foot with Rex um and then but hey you know what Raylum is kind of is not fixed. Maybe it is. Maybe they still need to have a talk. But it, it, it's patching up. Like, him... And I was wondering, I'm like, you know, I wonder if he's gonna have to, like, almost die for him to... For Callum to be like, yeah, you know what? In the grand scheme of things, what you did hurt me. And I was upset. But, yeah, I don't want you to die. Like, I, I love you and I don't want you to die. So it made him be like... Finally got him to hug her and everything. So I'm, I'm happy to see that. So hopefully, like, I don't expect things to be 100% patched up. Um, like, and they also had that brief interaction in this episode with the, you know, with her saying, I have to go after him and him understanding and saying, I know. So it might be patched up between them, but I feel like they still maybe have a slight talk to him. Like, but if they don't, I feel like that's okay. It wasn't like lost over or anything. Um, and thank God, no more of this, like, mm, I'm not talking to you kind of like behavior between the two of them. But, um, yeah, overall, uh, I enjoyed the plot of this episode and the characters. Uh, animation was good. And music. Didn't really notice anything special about the music in this episode. You know, so the usual good. Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and keep running bright. See ya.